Here we go. This is the WGT199 USD new dynamic driver earphone with patented Tesla magnetic group. I don't know what that means. Dual cavity driver unit with speaker effect. No, I'm not sure about that. Driver unit utilizing double layer composite membrane material. Metal cavity processed by CNC 8 core OFC silver plated cable. 99 bucks. Um, I'm doing this video because I think these are really good. This is the first set I've done since I did the video for the T4 and I've been sent maybe 10 items since then and I really have not been feeling any of them. Much to the chagrin of some people that send me stuff. At some point is this guy going to like something? Uh, yes, I like this a lot. I was waiting for the info. This is a graph of the item biggest deviation is approximately 10 db from where the uh from 1k to what is probably about 5.5k is about a 10 db it's got very close to a chop top harman which is my preferred signature i'm discovering it's got um, a recess at 8k and a post 8k elevation it's uh tuned really really well the thing that jumped out about me about me about this set to me was the fact that the amount of detail that it had compared to the hibiscus it stomped on that like i said when I, I did the hibiscus video uh it's unfortunate that that set came on the same day that this set came because this really kind of like wow this was really really good um this is something that i would put and compare and will with the kxxs the canas pro the tfc number three titanium version just for the hell of it um i would put this in my top dynamic drivers this would be very close to being the top one this has got similar tendencies to the sure tape and it's it's micro detail uh playback it's 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 an exceptional device um this is the dtr1 and people have been asking me a lot now i'll explain to you what happened now there's a setting on this which will make it not sleep and for a person like me that usually uses Android based devices or other, that that setting will eventually time itself out um, because there's a screen setting and there's also a device setting. But since this is sometimes interfaced with bigger gear, it doesn't turn itself off. Like not turning it off means not ever turning it off. And so when I had that set, and I don't remember setting it to that, but it was set to that because now it works. And I'm going to turn it off because I'm going to review it. I think it sounds very, very nice. So that will be coming up. Take a look at this real, again one more time. WGT1. I, the names, I don't know. Let's get a look at some music first. This right now that I'm playing is Michael Jackson. Uh, I want to be starting something and I use this because this is when stuff has got extreme clarity I want to listen to this because there's a beep between 1 minute 26 second 1 minute 31 second on the left channel It's a very OCD thing But as people have come to find out when I did a live stream a lot of people can't catch it I've never heard it on a pair of headphones Never I've never heard it on a pair of headphones. I've heard it on some IEMs that get a lot of good seal and um have good resolution and i can catch the beep on the left channel of this and it's just a confirmation that this has got really excellent micro detail playback so that is michael jackson let me go ahead and get led zeppelin 2 where are you began the opening of this track um, is classic if you guys are familiar with Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin's a trip because Led Zeppelin is uh, like a rite of passage for people of my generation. I think for everybody that gets into the rock and roll. Um, you get Led Zeppelin first album, the second album, the third album, Symbols, um, the, the unnamed fourth album, and then you go through the whole process and get the whole discography that they released while they were an actual group. I think that presence or into the uh, i'm sorry coda the final album was maybe released after bonham died i don't recall right off the top of my head um uh, but that's when they broke up when john bonham died because they thought that they would not uh ever get back together this track sounds epic 
Really, really good. Boom, boom. Let's get. Why don't you chill out? There we go. And let's get out of there. This player is just a trip, man. Look at all that kiss. I got all of kiss. I mean, all of kiss. But I didn't listen to this. Axis Bold is Love, Jimi Hendrix, Little Wing. Boom, boom, boom. This, this is, this is the UK mono. This is not the version that I listen to. Oh, well, mm, enjoy it anyway. I've got most of what Hendrix, um, official estate supports. Most, I don't really have any of the ones that are super garbage quality, but I've got a lot of stuff. Um, this would be another one. UK Mono 7 inch. Uh, it actually sounds really, really good. Jimmy Hendrix Crash Landing. Somewhere over the rainbow. Uh, are you guys Hendrix fans or what? But let me get to something that I listened to on the set that we got in question. Boom. Fool and Mac Rumors. And this is a DSD right here. Never going back again. This is uh, Lindsey Buckingham at his fucking finest. Um, I don't want to start singing. Um, if I was listening to this while I was doing the review, though, I probably would because this has got uh, excellent. There's a kind of a everything that I've really been drawn to is um, acoustic guitar based. Um, other stuff sounds fine, including future which is right here which I, I did listen to uh g you don't want to get to know you plays that stuff no problem um this track is really really good this is uh you know you'd believe in the quality of dsc or not every little single micro detail is there um it's excellent i'm going to do a full review for this set again taking a look at the graph uh it it's not stepping wrong you might think well that yeah, it's peaking at 125. It's fallen. It's not getting in the way. That's a testament to the driver technology. If this was a simple standard PET Mylar set, I think that this graph might be a little much with the bass. I'm not getting that with this. But then again, the tape has a giant hump that looks like in almost any volume it would be unacceptable. However, when you have that set and you listen to it, you know that that's actually not the case. So. Uh, this is the, yeah, I don't even know the name again, the WGT1, and it gets the wreck. I'm going to do a full review for it. It is really, really, really nice. It's excellent. Like it a lot. Dave Mason. Only you know and I know. Dun, 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 dun. Um... I got an affinity for acoustic, acoustic electric guitars right now because most everything I'm listening to, that is a fucking classic right there. Dead President. Hip Hop is the name of the track. The fucking video is epic too. Um, if you are looking for something that is something like uh, KXXS but has more detail, um, better bass, this would be that. This is a really good set. I like this a lot. I'm going to go ahead and wreck this, but I'm going to do a full review for it uh, as well. This is really just an intro. Cable is the kind that was being asked when it wasn't like the star of the show. People were noticing the background, which is kind of like what I do. People look at not what's in the center of the video or the picture. They look at the peripheral and... This was in that peripheral, and it is a good cable. This doesn't step wrong in any kind of way. Wrecking this for 100 bucks is very, very easy. And too easy. I should probably take myself more seriously, or you guys' money. But I think I've kind of proven that I do do that already. Um, this is a good set, you guys. More will be coming. And I am... I am out of here. Who coded this fucking thing? Who who did this?
fucking kudos, man. This is really, really good stuff. Fucking love it. Makes and makes the whole music. This is <coughs> this is what I wanted to do, and I'm not there yet because I've got albums that I've got in possession, and I'm going to get possession, and I'm going to have them up on the top. I'm going to have the albums framed up along the top. That's what I was going to do. Some like RGB lights, but fuck the lights. I got enough of that in the fucking computer. Mm, underneath the fucking headphone stand, b on the background, going behind every, you can see the green light over there. I got, I got enough fucking lights. Put some albums up, man. Let's make this look like a fucking music, fucking place where music gets played because it's mm, where I play music. This is what I wanted to do, just like this. Mm, not exactly but roughly and i don't know what this video is going to look like until i take it off my head so i'm really in uncharted water for myself if anybody says oh you fucking biting zeos i am uh and i'm not sorry because if you're going to do what i'm going to do which is take amps and dax and put it on a table which is what zeos has been doing for years i never put those two things together what he's doing and how he's doing it he has to do it that way there has to be physical space between the item and him for you to see it, for him to handle it. I can't do those things in another way unless I get in front of the camera and then I hold it and I show it to you. But I don't even like watching those kind of videos because they distract me mentally. I like to see Zeos' video minus the stuff, you know, the rambles like I do. People who watch my videos probably like right now they're tuning out. Like, fuck the ramble. That's where I get lost with him, but the, like showing me the back of uh, Amp Dak and explaining it to me, I, I dig that. And I, he needs physical space to do that. I discovered that I need the same thing unless I want to stick to IMs and IMs only for the rest of my fucking YouTube existence. And I, I, fuck that. Fuck that. I want Amps and Daks. I've already got them fucking down underneath this fucking desk that I'm still not finished making. And I want to put them right here and fucking review them. There's different ways I can do that. One of the ways is the way that Zeos brilliantly came up with fucking years ago, which is why he's got all the subscriptions that he's got. And fucking good for him. No hard feelings. Uh, that's easy for me to say, considering some of the stuff I've said to him directly. Um, but I, this is the best compliment that I can give. At the end of the day, the way that it's being done by him is the best way to do this. Unless you want to be the guy that gets in front of the camera and shows it. I don't. Mm. The, the fucking stuff that's coming on with fucking Unbox Therapy right now. He steals another person's idea. Fucking Marcus Brown used to be your average consumer and then he got his own fucking... I, I look at people on videos and I, I start to evaluate them and judge them in my brain instead of just focusing on the gear that they're talking about. So I, I, I can't... I don't do that because I, I can't watch that myself. It has nothing to do with... There, there's a trailer on my channel... On the front page, it's got me walking up to a camera talking about how, how fucking awesome I am. I don't mind the camera. I actually am a fucking ham. But about the audio, I want this to be right in front. I want this. I want this to be what we're talking about. I want the music to be the focus. And I want the gear that plays the music to be the focus of the video. And nothing else. Not the shirt that I'm fucking wearing. Mm, nothing. That's it. Honky Chateau. Mm. I might be using one of those tracks in the future, but not today. And I'm out. See what this looks like.